So there are many ways that you can make a video presentation of yourself that's sort of like, you know, real life, live presentation. Uh, you could use a television set and connect your computer through HDMI cable or through AirPlay. Uh, and that works if the room is bright enough. So in this case, the room is pretty bright so you can see me and you can see the television set. But if I go into a darker room where you can, you can see the, the TV well, uh, but then I'm kind of dark. Actually, in this example, you can see it better. Uh, here, the, the screen looks great, uh, but I, I'm obviously too dark. If I try to adjust the smartphone, uh, I look okay. A little bit of light there, but the screen is blown out and it's too bright and it's hard to see. So there is another way, a very simple way, which is you just take a video of yourself talking, an introduction video, then you record the slides in PowerPoint with your narration, so they're already fixed, and then you can put a video on the end of that, and I'll explain that. Okay, so there are many ways to make a video, but here's just one very simple way. Think of it in terms of uh, three video shoots that you have to take. There's uh, the body of it, which say that's uh, about eight minutes long, and that is all your slides from PowerPoint. So this you record uh, in PowerPoint, as I'll show you. So it's your narration. This will be the, that's the video, and then this is your sound on that track, and you have your slides. So that's one video that you have to make, so you work on those slides. That has the, the sort of intro to the problem. Maybe we can just call this problem, and then plus the solution or your, your idea. And in terms of percentage wise, I mean, you know, maybe 30% or 50% is the problem and then 70% is the solution that you talk about. But that doesn't matter. I mean, it can be 50-50. You have to convince us that it actually is a problem. So these are your slides here. But So that's one video, right? Uh, and then to make it simple, you could just put another like one minute video here which of course has your narration and that is just you know your iphone or your smartphone just recording yourself there you are talking into to the camera uh, introduce yourself again introduce your problem uh, but then very quickly get into the the body of the presentation which has more the introduction to the problem where you give details you give evidence and you give data and then you talk about some ideas or solutions that you have and I say one minute, but it, this could be 30 seconds, or it could be even 15 seconds as well. So just think of that as a, a video where you just show your face. Then this longer video is the body of your presentation. And that is uh, all the slides that you made. And this has the structure of your presentation. And that just has your narration of the slides. And then when all that's done, you can make another video at the end, which again is just you again. Uh, and that's, you know, one minute or, or much less than that. I mean, it could even just be 15 seconds if you want. And again, that has your uh, narration. So that's really one, two, three videos. Just think of it that way. Okay, so this was just an example of, you know, making a video at the beginning, having your PowerPoint slides with narration in the middle, which is the bulk of it, the majority of it. And then you can put a video again uh, of yourself just using your smartphone at the end. And then in video editing, try to make it all sync up so it's nice. But it's basically just three videos, which can be your introduction and the actual presentation, which has itself an introduction and the body and the conclusion. Uh, and then you can put another video at the end. All right, thanks very much. I know uh, you must have many questions, so I look forward to answering those questions in our Zoom class. All right, thanks very much. Bye-bye.